Well, look, we have said from the start of this process that we uh, are not calendar-led, we are condition-led. Uh, right from the start, we have said that we want to get this right. Uh, there are a number of issues that we need to deal with. Uh, the financial issues that we have been talking about today, it's essential that those are put on a stable footing for the long term. We don't care about short-term fixes. We want to get this right for the long term, as well as dealing with those constitutional uh, trading and uh, economic issues uh, as well. Uh, so we're not led uh, by the calendar, we're led by getting the uh, conditions right uh, for a stable future for everybody in Northern Ireland. Well, as I've already said, we're not led by short-term Christmas deadlines. That's not in uh, our thinking. We want to make sure that we get this right. That's what we are focused on, in making sure that we put in place the right foundations. That's what we've been trying to do right from the start, uh, right from when we first um, highlighted in October 2019 the deficiencies and problems with the Northern Ireland Protocol through the Windsor framework and today. And it's because we haven't um, been calendar led, it's because we haven't uh, given in uh, to the deadlines or, or the threats from others that we have been able to make substantial pro uh, progress and that we are in uh, a much better place today. But that work isn't finished, uh, that work has to uh, continue. And I want to make sure uh, that we get that uh, right, and that's what we're about. Well, look, it, it doesn't surprise me uh, in, in many ways that people would uh, try to, uh, to do this. I, I, of course, have concerns and issues uh, with the way in which those uh, posters uh, were put up um, by uh, often hooded people uh, in, the, in the middle of the night. But look, we're not going to be distracted uh, by that. We have had different deadlines thrown at us in the past. We have had different threats thrown at us uh, in, in the past. And, and now this uh, doesn't uh, surprise me. I'm here to make sure uh, that we get the best uh, possible outcome for uh, the people of Northern Ireland. That's what we are all about. That's what we want to achieve. What do you say to those people who are frustrated by the fact that we've got it for Christmas? Good to go. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today can only be described as disappointing. Uh, we went in there in good faith to discuss particularly the issues around budget and some of the key areas that we need to do to get the Northern Ireland Assembly and the Northern Ireland Executive back up and running. And we didn't really achieve very much today. We seem to be in a stalemate and waiting for what's going to happen next. I think particularly for those in the public sector where they could be getting their public sector pay deals sorted out right now, I think it has been very disappointing. Tomorrow, we expect there to be another set of meetings and we expect the Secretary of State to be holding some meetings tomorrow morning. For everybody in Northern Ireland, I hope we get some progress because I think everybody understands where the landing zone is. Let's just get on with it and make it happen. We're not giving up on hope, and it's important that we continue uh, th this work. And, and frankly, if we don't get a breakthrough either side of Christmas, there are alternatives for the government. That includes reform. Uh, by one means or another, it's important that the people of Northern Ireland have control of the, uh, after their own affairs, and their, their options are open to the government in that respect. Well, if the DP don't believe they have the right deal and aren't coming back, then let the rest of us go on. But I think also the DP have to have some sense of realism as to what is doable and what's not doable in the context of, of a hard Brexit.